Hello, welcome again to Artsphere 1969 live. This is Wong Si Lai Kitchen. Mm, what I have for you today. Ah, today I'm going to share with you something that is quite related to the coming public holiday. Guess what is it? That's right, Hari Raya is coming. So because of the Hari Raya, uh, it reminds me of this uh, dish that I used to have before. It is none other than the Mee Goreng. Okay, so this is an easy kitchen. So I'm going to share with you a simplified version of doing it. Uh, can you please help me to like and share uh, so that your friends also can learn how to do this. And then of course, they cook it and then invite you to their house and eat, right? Okay, I'm going to do my sharing now. I'll be back with you in a moment, okay? Wow, all of us uh, have always been wanting to have public holidays, all that, right? So actually, this public holiday, um, no doubt we have a uh, COVID stay home. Yeah, I mean, we were not allowed to visit a big group, right? So we can always have small little party, right? So when we uh, invite friends to our house, we can always share a little meal, right? So what I'm sharing with you can also be a snack, can be a full meal itself. Okay, I tell you why, because of the various different ingredients that I'm going to use it. To, to to cook this up, cook up this noodle, yeah? Okay, so yeah, let me just finish up my sharing, yeah? And then, okay. Okay, right, shall we start? Yes, okay, right. Uh, mi goreng, of course the main ingredients are the noodles, okay? So I show you half of it. The other half is a secret recipe, right? Secret, I'll tell, you about, I'll tell you about it later, okay? So as usual, I will start cooking the ingredients that need a little bit of time first, a little bit more time, right? So as usual, I will use my Noxa pressure cooker, which has the stir-fry function, right? So it's very useful. Okay, I, let me just on. Okay, now you can set the timing for the stir-fry mode as well. So I, I will just put it as... 30 minutes because I don't want it to just off by itself when I'm still not finished with the cooking. Of course, I won't take 30 minutes. Lah. Okay, right. I heat up the pot first and then um, I will put in the oil. The first ingredient that I'm going to use will be the onion. So onion, I need to uh, let it soften a bit. So let me just heat up the oil first. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to cook some noodles, so the amount of oil here will be um, not too little because if your noodle has got not sufficient oil, they say lah, when you cook, you must have sufficient, not excessive sufficient. Yeah? So that will fragrant your ingredients. Otherwise, the flavor of the ingredients will not come out. Like for example, onion, right? Okay. You need to um, fry under the fragrance come out. Okay, so... Uh, I use a uh, bawang, they call it the bawang merah or bawang besar, okay? Because there's a small one called the shallots, yeah? So, take off the skin and then uh, for today, I'm going to dice my ingredient, yeah? Okay? So, i just show you how to do the simple cutting. Remove the stump here, the end, alright? Where the roots were growing out so that when you cut the onion, they will open up, okay? Very simple. I have the onion and then I half again okay so after this half I will just cut into small little cube size okay because I want my my, my ingredients are all be cubed up today all right so this is how you do it you see so half and then six pieces right throw in yeah so similarly I do with the other side all right okay while my onion is uh Cooking. Let me introduce you to my other ingredients, okay, which I have uh, pre-prepared. Okay? Because it's a live show, I can't be having you here for one whole hour, right? So some of the things I, those that I can do, I do first, lah, okay? Malay mi goreng, uh, they have this very special ingredient called kang tang, okay? Right? Normally you eat mi goreng, you eat noodles, you don't really use potato. Like Chinese noodle, we don't, right? Okay? So this one, uh, for Malay mee goreng, I found that they use potato. What I did was I um, dice it up and then I fry it first. Of course, you can steam it, but then again, when you fry it, it's lagi boom, yeah? Smell nicer, okay? So what I do is I just cut my potatoes into cube 
and then I fry them up, okay? So this is the fried one. Just dice it and fry it. I tell you, uh, after you finish cooking, you just put some salt that is very yummy. Mm. I ate the other half already, okay? So this is what I left for you all, huh? The thing is, um, tau kwa, right? So, mi goreng, Malay mi goreng has tau kwa also, right? So, similarly, I fry the tau kwa first. I prefer to fry it whole. Fry it whole, then I cut. But some people like to cut first, then fry. Then, uh, for me, lah, for me, I, I don't want it to be so hard. The, the sides of the tau kwa to be so hard. So, I prefer to fry first, then cut. Okay? Similarly, I just show you how I cut the tau kwa. It's, um, it's quite thick. So what I do is I slice half this way. Okay? So you got into two. And then, of course, put it back. Mm. Okay? Then um, half again. And then half again. Very simple. Because you cut, you can see that the square is coming out. Right? Okay. Right? So, there. See? My little square is here. Yeah? So, just finish cutting it. Aga aga, yeah? No need to take ruler and measure, okay? If you want to, of course you can. You can put the ruler here, lah. But that's a joke, lah, okay? So, just cut up. Right. How's my bawang doing? Hmm, okay, it's browning. Oh, yes. Uh, one thing about cutting bean curd is that um, don't press it because when you press it, it will become smashed up. So you do the sawing motion, huh? okay? Otherwise, you see the tahu here, kena, bing, oh, bing cooked already, okay? So I just put it back there. Hmm, can you smell the bawang? So nice, okay? Right, okay. Just brown it a little. I use the purple color bawang. They say it's sweeter. Lah. Huh? Okay. Next thing, I have a potato. Okay, done. Huh? Okay. One more thing is the fish cake. Okay. Uh, you can use a lot of ingredients. You can use seafood. Uh, you can use seafood like sotong, prawn, sliced fish. Uh, you can also use like chicken. Oh, no, I have used, uh, I prepared a, a piece of uh, two pieces of chicken breast here. And of course, I like to add some fish cake, okay? Fish cake, you all know, right? Huh? It actually adds a, uh, some flavor to the noodle. And then when you bite on the fish cake, huh, it's got this very nice uh, feeling. Of course, I love to eat fish ball fish cake, okay? Say, uh, I choose the flat one. You can use any kind of fish cake. Then I... Slice them into two like the tau kwa. Okay, be careful, don't cut your hand. Ah. So this way, when I slice up the fish cake, it won't be so big, okay? It's about this size like that, yeah? If not, it will be double the size, okay? So this is also one way you can make your ingredient last longer, ah. Got more to eat, okay? Right, so just slant it a bit, okay? And then you just slice them, okay? Simil, uh, same as uh, cutting the tau kwa, use the sawing motion because they are very soft. Okay? Right. Right, I'm not going to finish cutting this. I already have enough for you here. Okay. Right. The onion is already soft. Okay, the next thing I put in will be the garlic. Why? Huh? Why you got onion and garlic? Huh? Okay. Because uh, they both have very distinct flavor by itself. For the garlic... You can uh, either cut into small pieces or you can uh, slice them, okay? So I think I will slice them to give an uh, added fragrance to the... I wash my hands, lah, so let me just do without the glove, okay? Right, you can just slice it and then just throw in. Okay, the quantity uh, is entirely up to you, okay? Uh, I'm going to use about three garlic. Okay, and um, when you fry this garlic, when it's uh, crispy, you bite into it, it's actually very fragrant, okay? Sometimes at home, I will just use oil and then heat up some garlic and then keep the oil in the cup so that when I do my cooking, 
uh, like for example, I steam egg or I do uh, a tofu dish, I can just put the onion oil on it, okay? Garlic oil or onion oil, okay? Right, okay, the next thing comes is the noodle, okay? This is where I like to share with you the secret which I learned from my friend Nifty, all right? Uh, sometime back when I do noodles, Nifty taught me this thing. Look at this. Can you see there are two colors here? Ah, me goreng, normally you use the yellow noodles, right? Yeah, my friend taught me, say, if you want the noodles to be a bit more cute, eh, use a bit of this laksa noodle, okay? And also for me, I, I don't like the alkaline taste in a yellow noodle so much. So I'm very happy to discover this secret. So I use the laksa noodle more and the yellow noodle less, okay? Right, now the other trick about uh, make uh, fried noodles is you want your noodles to be fragrant. You know the wok hay which you, uh, when you eat from the hawker store, right? Because they have this big wali, big fire, okay? I learned the trick. I've been watching the Takwe Tiao man for eight years uh, where I stay. He, when, he, when he cooks in big portion, of course, he has a big quality, right? But I realized that when you cook in small portion, I go back and try. When I cook in small portion, that I have a, a, I'm able to, to let the noodles get heated up more, more with the, uh, how to say, touch the wok. So I have this um, uh, wok hay that, that, you, that you are talking about, you know, uh, more fragrant, okay? So I realized, I always tell my helper, cook the noodles in small portion, okay? Right. So now the important part of it is actually want to fry the noodle and let it become fragrant first before we add the other ingredient. Okay, this one I learned from my sister. Yeah, my sister used to sell jing ji mi fen. So her jing ji mi fen, I tell you, her kway tiao especially is very, very fast sold out because she cook it so well. Okay, so she told me the, the trick to it is that you have to fry until fragrant before you add all your other seasoning. Okay. Okay, let me see. Maybe I should just cook all the yellow noodle here, right? So this is about 200 grams of yellow noodle, okay? And then the laksa noodle is also, I do half, half lah, okay? Right? Oh, oh. Okay, let's give it, let, let the noodles stick to the bottom of the wok and get the wok hay a bit first, yeah? I tell you, uh, my noodle is always a, uh, so this morning when I was uh, doing my, my own noodle at home, there's so much ingredient uh, until I cannot find the noodles. No paise, eh? So I tell what today I do, uh, do everything, uh, put more noodles in for you, okay? So everything goes in, right? So there's about half a kilo of noodles here, okay? Now, I'm going to let the noodles sit at the in the pan for a while to get the wok hey why because we are not the professional hawker one right the flame is very big so what we do is we just let it fry for a while okay so while this one is going on i will do the cutting of my vegetables yeah okay i think i will add a little bit more of oil yeah, to get the fragrance out okay just a little bit more okay Just put it at the side because I my noodle is uh, about half a kilo here, so just a little bit more. Okay, okay, right. What are the vegetables that I use here? I tell you, I love this dish very much because it is entirely up to you what you want to put inside. Okay, look at my little bowl here. Okay, I have this thing called Thai sim. Yeah, I have a uh, cabbage. Okay, I have tomato as well. All right, and I learned one thing. I'm going to put the tomato last. And of course, I have tau gay, okay? Now, with all these vegetables, um, like for example, chai sim, they have the leaf and the stalk, right? So what I do is I will pluck out the leaf first, right? Because the stalk will take a longer time to cook, right? So I will cut the stalk, right? Make it a little bit uh, thinner, okay? Now, you see the stalk like that. My mom taught me, she said, use the slant, uh, cutting it slant. So you have actually extra length for two sides. You see? Okay, uh, this is one, right? If you cut into two this way, it's a little bit short. So if you slant your cut, you see, you get two good size stalk, yeah? Okay, so this is a cutting tricks, yeah? Okay, so even for the, the, the stem itself, 
you just cut it, uh, slice it open thinly, okay? Now I can hear my doodle, crackling, crackling, crackling. Yes, this is what I want, okay? Can you hear sizzling, sizzling, right? Yeah. So I let it cook a bit more. Okay, when you can smell it, you all tell me, okay? Means it's about to, about time to put the other ingredient ready, yeah? Okay, just let it cook for one more. Okay, so this is the Thai sim, right? And then, um, okay, let me just, okay, just quickly plug. Uh, for the leaves, uh, I tell you, no need to, no need to, Cut them any smaller, why? Because when, after frying, uh, they all kill tree, you know, kill tree, you know what's kill tree? Contract. <laughs> yeah, you don't see them very much. So I tell my, I told my helper, I said, no need, no need to bother to cut the, the leaves into smaller pieces, okay? Just do the, the stems, yeah? Now, there's a lot of vegetable in this dish, okay? So if you are carbo conscious, you can use less noodle, then you top up with all your uh, vegetables, okay? So this is actually can be quite a healthy meal if you know how to choose your ingredients. There is no hard and fast rule, all right? You put in what you like. If you don't like, omit them, yeah? So that's good thing about home cooking. Hmm? You just do as, cook what you like. And then if you like more, you put more, okay? But if you go to the store, you say, Uncle, I want more tau gay. I always get the stare from them. Huh? More tau gay, ah? And then they will give me a... Uh, Five more strands. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Since the stem is harder, I will put it in to cook first. Yeah. Okay. All my stems are done. Okay. Right. Chop, chop, curly pop. Just cut them and throw them in. Okay. So it's actually very simple. Okay. You just put throw them in. As usual, my cooking are always yeah. Throw in and then stir, stir. Right. Can you hear the crackling sound? Yeah, so at least I let my noodle get in touch with the pan, yeah? So hopefully with this wok hay, yeah, will be good enough for the noodles, okay? Right, one more thing, uh, if you are on using only yellow noodles, okay, let me give you a tip. No need to add any more salt or fish sauce or anything because the yellow noodle is salty itself, okay? But since I'm doing half-half, uh, I have this laksa noodle here, so I will use a little bit or fish sauce, hilo, okay? Just dash, dash a bit, okay? The other thing is because I'm going to use sambal chili. Sambal chili itself is uh, salty as well, okay? Right? You still haven't smelled the smell, huh? Okay, right? Let it cook for one more, yeah? Because I just added the, the vegetables inside. Okay, yes, one more thing. Uh, I also added, use uh, cabbage. So cabbage is also a little bit harder. Why I use cabbage? Because I want to have some crunch in the noodle. Otherwise, you'll be just biting the noodle, uh, lam pepe, right? So the cabbage will give it a little bit of crunch, yeah? Just tear and throw in, yeah? No need to, no need to cut, like, oh. So this is, uh, yeah, I think, wait, ah. Uh, I think I better put cabbage later. That's one thing I want to add in first. Okay? Chao mein usually have this thing called jia tan, yeah? Okay, so as usual, like the chakwetel man, he pushes his noodle to the side. Okay, my pot is not fantastically big, but it's uh, at least good enough for me to put all my ingredients in. So now I will just put some oil in and then I will put the eggs at the side, yeah? Okay, let me just move this, okay? Right. I'm going to use four eggs here. Okay. Right. And as usual, the chakwetel men, they will just crack. They don't put inside the bowl. They just crack straight into the pot. Okay. One more tip. Ah. Please don't mock your egg here. Unless you wash it before. Why? You don't want extra ingredient inside. Lah, oh. So you cock it, cock, cock, cock at the side. Okay. Then you push it in, yeah? So that you don't have extra ingredient, yeah? Okay, two more. Right. One more. Okay, see that mengkabo? 
Gaula, oh, because every time I eat chocolate, only one egg, only, okay? Yep. All right, four eggs here. Okay. Right. Then what you do with it? You just break up the yolk. Okay. And then I remember my chocolate man, he pushed the noodle on top. See mm, Okay. And then we let the egg cook. Okay. Now this is a home cooking and uh, I'm using my pressure cooker come uh, stir fry mode. So you don't expect the flame to be very, very big. But there's always a trick to go about it. You just let it cook for a while. Okay. So while it's cooking, what can I do? Right. The next ingredient I have to do, uh, almost all done. Okay, let me just share with you the um, sambal that I'm going to use, okay? Uh, mi goreng, of course, uh, if you are if you don't like chili, you can just do tomato ketchup, okay? Tomato ketchup, yeah? But uh, if you like a bit spicy, because mi goreng, usually the, the Malays, they always put sambal in their cooking, right? So what I have, I'm using today is I went to buy this from... Uh, uh, shop that supply all the chili, all the condiments to the hawkers, okay? And uh, they have this paste called the nasi lemak chili. Okay? And uh, I love to buy this because why sometimes when you cook nasi lemak, you can, you don't have to make your own chili, la. it's all done already. Actually, the chili is the most important part of it, right? Yeah. So, I, I bought the paste and then, um, okay, this is the nasi lemak chili. Of course, if you really need to know the place I bought it, it's uh, Tang San, okay? I'm not advertising for them, but I thought if I don't tell you, then how are you going to get your chili, right? You can go and get from the supermarket, but then uh, there's is only one, one, one bottle, and then one time you'll finish using them all. So this one can, uh, can use a few times, okay? So that's why I, I went to buy this from the Tang San, all right? Okay, I'm going to use about two to three tablespoons of sambal as you like it, okay? Yeah? So, don't no hard and fast rule. All right, let me check the noodle, okay? Yes, all right, you can hear the crackling sound. Yes, you see? The noodle, is, uh, the eggs is a bit set ready. Now, you see this brown part here? This is what we want, huh? okay? Right, so now I can stir fry it a bit, huh? Okay, I think here a little bit, uh, okay, let it cook a bit more here, okay? Now, in the morning when I cook this, I put in the tomato a bit too early. So, the tomato all too sweet. So, my, my noodle wasn't, uh, was a bit wet. So, this time I'm going to put the tomato last. Okay? So, chili is done ready. Cabbage done, tauge, and then uh, tomato, right? Okay. This one, I also will dice it. Okay? How to dice it? Same lah. I half it first. Take away the stock, yeah, okay, and then uh, I will do into three, lah. okay, one, two, okay, so you can see, right, this is a square, right, okay, this one also, yeah, okay, like that, okay. So if you find that uh, tomato, you don't press too hard, you use the sawing motion, okay? Otherwise, all the tomato juice will come out, yeah? Right, okay? One, two, and then... Okay, if you cannot catch them all, then cut them one by one, okay? Nobody say it's wrong, ah. Huh? Okay, right. I'm just teaching you some shortcut if you can. Fine, if you cannot, do the easy way, okay? Right, so this is done. All right, let me just put my tomato into the box. Okay. The next thing I'm going to put in will be the chicken, okay? After the egg. Okay, so this is a easy chopping board. Just lift it up and pour everything in, yeah? Okay, right. How is it going? Mmm, drying up ready, okay? Right, okay, this is the texture that I want. Right? Wen down the mail. Yeah, okay. So this is the noodle with the egg all inside, okay. Right, so now I'm going to put in the chicken, okay? 
I use uh, two chicken breasts and uh, dice it up and then just season it with some uh, salt sugar, right? Okay. I push the noodle to one side and then I put the chicken meat in. Okay, tandua, extra ingredient now, okay? So I will put the noodle to cover it, okay? After this, I will put in the sambal, all right? Okay, noodle is almost done after we mix up all the ingredients. Right, so now I can throw in my chili, okay? Wow, one big spoon. Put it, I put a bit less first for those who can't take chili. Then if you want more, you can always add on to your individual portion, okay? Now, uh, the chili is spicy, so I will add some tomato ketchup, okay? To sweeten it a bit, right? Uh, when you go and buy the chili paste, there is a uh, nasi lemak chili, there's also sambal tumis. Okay, so I ask them what's the difference. Sambal tumis is uh, not as sweet as nasi lemak chili. Now, 我是偏甜, I, I like things a bit more sweeter because of my uh, my mom's the cooking. So I chose the nasi lemak chili. But you can also use the uh, sambal tumis, okay? All right. Okay. Now, I think this is about time I will put in my cabbage, okay? So this one, I will have a bit more crunch. And also my tauge, I will put in uh, just before. I want to take it out because I like it to be crunchy, okay? Right. But of course, if you like your tauge softer, you cook it a bit longer, lah, okay? Right. Okay. Okay, let me mix it up. Why well, I can tell you ah. Uh, now I can throw in all my other ingredients, yeah? Throw, right? Potato, tau kwa. You see, the pot, the food is all rising up, right? So I tell you ah, uh, if you get a pot that is too small, uh, you cannot cook properly because why? Before you put in the ingredients, the pot, the, the ingredients that you put in the noodles, the pot is already full, ah. Uh, okay? So look at that. So this eight liter size is very good for us to cook uh, noodles, cook things that are in a bit, bit more quantity, you know, not just for one person, all right? About four or five person, okay? Right, what else I have to put in? Okay, right. She didn't need it, just put it inside. And then, of course, my tauge goes in as well. Okay, let me stir fry a bit first, huh? mix up a bit here. Wow. Look at that. What liao tui kui mi ya, really ho? Yeah, nan nan tan biu liao. Okay. Two hands lah, okay? Look at that. Ooh. This is a big pot of noodles here. I think uh, this will be good for at least five or six or maybe eight person, huh? Okay, next thing I put in tomato and tauge. Right? I think I won't put all of because already the pot is very full, huh? So if you like, you can just add some raw tauge to your noodles later. Okay? That's how they eat it, yeah? Okay. Give it a good mix and the noodle is done, okay? How many minutes, ah? Huh? 20? <laughs> wow, 20 minutes done, okay? Minus my talking now, of course. All right, okay. Let me chichibi first, ah. Huh? Chichibi is called taste, yeah? Ah, I can't find my noodle. <laughs> so much ingredient. That's a chicken. Wow, that's cabbage. Wow, it's not too much. Wow, it's too much. Okay, so that's why right when you cook your noodle, if you're cooking for yourself, uh, you can cook um, 
by the time you add up all the ingredients, uh, sometimes I thought I'm just cooking for one person. Uh, what end up? Uh, one big pot, four person can eat. Okay, try. Mmm. See, I told you, no need to stop. It's really salty. I let it cook for a little one more. So meanwhile, I do my packing up. Mm. One more thing. Decorate the plate with some cucumber. Yeah. The Japanese cucumber. Just slice them. Okay. Just line. Want to go one round, not no need lah. Okay. Okay lah, a few more. Okay, take a pull out. Can. Want to? Hmm. Okay. I tell you how this cucumber is very refreshing. Okay lah, finish it up lah. Just decorate the plate a bit. I tell you, eat the noodle with the cucumber is very refreshing. I realized, put the green color on top. Hmm? It's called plating, ah, plating, okay? Put the green color on top. Okay, a few more. Ah, one circle. Hmm. Almost there, almost there. Okay, my noodle. I believe you are done. Okay. Yes, um, if you like to, you can put some pepper. Actually, I find that the sambal fragrance is good enough, so I don't need to uh, add any more seasoning. Okay? Okay, lah. since I mentioned it, I just put some. Okay? Right. Anything else I didn't use? Oh, all used ready. Okay, right? Mix, mix. Ah, I see the multicolor. Tomato, orange. Yeah. Fish cake, white. Green color, vegetable. Look here. Wow. Okay. Okay, shall I? Okay. Right. Let me just pack up these boxes. Then we can plate our noodles, yeah? Okay. All right. There you go. This one. Okay. Okay. Like. Mmm. So you got. Mmm. Wow, I can feel an army. Yeah. Tomato. Chai sim. Look at that. Hmm. Tau kwa. Fish cake. Ying. Hmm. Okay. Right. Me goreng done. Okay, let me just wipe the plate a bit. Okay, now next thing. Garnish it with some chili. Cut chili. And uh, of course. Right. I got chili. Mm. Okay. Uh, Mi goreng. With the sengkam, yeah. Like yeah, what la? Like Chinese New Year like that, yeah. Okay, what else I can do? Okay lah, I just put extra one in case your one more, right? Okay. Like what you like? What about this? Okay, my noodle is done. Right, let me off the flame, off the, flame, off the heat. Okay. How lot? Nice. And the rest of you are like, see, see, Come. Karen, yeah. 
，来，你做我的兵。啊，给你多一个三筷子，一个，来，给给，是用我的小盘子啊，可以，啊，可以来，嗯 ，easy right the recipe 哦，嗯 ，good， 巴斯。<笑>不是巴掌，很好吃，是有那个桑巴的那个味道，然后又有鸡肉，然后又有那个鸡蛋，还有很多的菜，还有豆芽，吃起来真的是要来试看看你们知道。Good， 嗯 ，OK，If you like to，you can have some sambal at the side 呀、yeah. ，OK， 加料加料呀、yeah. ，OK，That's、okay, all for today。I hope you will go and try。Right, so the kind of ingredients that you are going to use is really entirely up to you, right? You just go through my video, you can see. Okay, what you like, you put more. What you uh, like a lot, you put more. What you don't like, you just don't put. Lah. Whatever I put, you don't like, then you don't put. Lah. Okay, so this is a very simple meal. You can have it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You can also have it for snack, yeah? And especially if you are going to your friend's house for a party, you can always cook it and then bring the pot over, yeah? So ask your friend to watch and then also they will cook and then they bring over to your house, okay? So I hope you like it and uh, I see you again. Okay, my next uh, cooking session, I will also do something related to Malay, Malay um, recipe, okay? You find out later, all right? I think you will definitely enjoy it. Okay, see you all. Bye.